So far, this is probably the best tomato sauce recipe I've been able to keep consistent. So these two together are really nice. What you want is you want tomatoes that are uh, well, basically whole but don't have any acid in them. If you want acid, you add your own. There's no acid. So, acid and heat and salt expedites the cooking process, but you don't develop a unique flavor like this cooking method. So you take Dutch oven, it can work in a crock pot too, but I have less consistency with the crock pot. And this has been in here for four hours now. But you can see the texture that you're getting. Look at that. And so, never puree. I cooked this at 200. And now I've just been trying to thicken it up. I left the lid off. Normally the lid would be on there still. And uh, aside from you know different herbs and spices, this texture here, you don't you don't want to blend it. You want to let these these cook, and then I chop them up with this thing, mash them as the cooking goes on. But ideally, you're just cooking them until they just fall apart on their own, really. And so, what you get when you do this, for anybody like me who's looking for that dark, hearty, almost, it's almost spicy in a way, but it's not. It's really hard to describe. And just so this is cooked at 200 I think I said, if I said that or not but I get distracted by just how good it was because <laughs> it takes so long and it's taken me so many years finally realized that the citric acid in canned tomatoes has been ruining my sauces because I would cook them all day only for the sauce to have this really weird flavor that is just unbelievably off-putting. This is a great development of flavor. I like a lot of garlic, so I put a lot of garlic. I put a lot of oregano and an Italian herb blend. I do a little bit of that because that comes off very strong to me. And... No, it's, uh, fresh bay leaf. You have to you have to crush your bay leaf, obviously. And then, if you don't know that, maybe you don't. I don't know if anybody watches this, but so once these cherry tomatoes start cooking down, well, crush those a little bit, and then you just get that beautiful texture through it that needs to be thickened slowly and what else lots of black pepper because I like the development of black pepper when you slow cook with black pepper it gives a nice finish and then I put celery in this time that really comes out good I don't like carrot and I don't use basil Celery, though, really did improve it wonderfully. But in terms of stereotypical, people say you gotta have basil. I don't like it for sauce. It just, I like a really dark, robust, hearty sort of. Just wonder. It's just got this wonderful burn to it. That's a, that the basil ruins. 
but it's taking so many years for me to get this texture figured out. I had to do it with whole tomatoes. All I was missing was a Dutch oven to bake it at 200. Pots, they burn the tomatoes. This keeps a consistent temperature right on. And that is just fantastic. That's all it is, it's just those two cans. <laughs> the professional, huh? Oh gosh, that's good. It is delicious. And it's only developing now, so this will cook for another four hours before it really starts to develop that flavor profile I'm going for. I think I took a half an onion and just cut it in half and threw it in here. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did. Just set an onion in there. Pretty much. But, very simple, easy. Just leave it in a little convection oven. Take me years for this out. Damn citric acid. Ruins it. If you want acid, put in a balsamic vinegar. But it will expedite your cooking.